Hi guys, welcome to another series of 2JZ Tuesday. My name is Michael Chung and today I'm going to discuss with you guys about is the spark plugs. Spark plugs is very important Although it is a relatively cheap component compared with other performance parts of your engine, but it is important because the combustion requires three things a lot of air, fuel, and your spark. So the selection of spark plug is very, very important for a good engine building. Okay, so I'm going to explain three things. The first thing is about heat range of your spark plug. Okay, ideally the spark plug requires hot enough to burn off all the carbon deposits from the fuel so that it can maintain a clean spark plug but it has to be cold enough so that it won't be accidentally do pre-ignition means it may cause detonation or knocking to your engine that means it is a very bad news for your engine it may cause catastrophic damage Okay. So, selecting a very proper heat range for your engine is very very vital for engine building. Second thing is gapping. Okay, let me explain the gap. This gap is for the, from the tip to the ground of the spark plug. Okay, so the gap cannot be too wide. If the gap is too wide, then during high RPM, it will have misfiring issues. But if it is too narrow, so it has very very weak spark, so it may have incomplete combustion, which we don't want. Okay, so the gap is very important. So the secret here is the gap for iridium tip is 0.7 mm. So this one is normally what I do when I do drifting. When I feel that at high RPM, there is some uh, misfiring issues, I don't immediately change the spark plug because I want to set cost too. So I just recap it, try try again. If it's still misfire, then I have to replace the spark plug. Hey guys, today my secret weapon for misfiring is to get the NGK Iridium to 0.7 mm. I'm using special tool to knock it down. The third one is the spark plug tape material. Okay, this one is very important when you do your selection. It, it, it does not mean the more expensive the spark plug it is, the better it is. It must be suit your application. If we are daily drivers, we just use back our OEM copper nickel spark plug tips. But if you are going for high RPM, uh, high peak power, then we have to go for those uh, iridium, platinum or silver. The most important function of a spark plug, this one is either durability or the heat conductivity. This one is up to you. This one is you decide yourself. Because for, I take one uh, material as an example. For example, silver. Silver has a very good heat conductivity. That means it can remain cold on the spark plug. It can reduce pre-ignition, detonation, locking and stuff like that but its durability is really really low you have to keep on replacing the silver spark plugs because I have a lot of uh, friends uh, using these silver spark plugs but they say they, they cannot uh, <coughs> they cannot stand the silver spark plugs durability they have to keep on changing so it is not good for those uh, OEM daily driven car okay? But uh, for example, Iridium, Iridium has a very stable uh, spark, it has very very high durability but it may have a problem when conducting heat but uh, so far it is stable for me. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys another bonus which is how a good tuner can make full use of a spark plug during tuning. Okay, so a tuner can check the spark plug 
and he can determine what he is going to do with the engine tuning at the dyno. Because in the dyno, he will be changing mainly these two things, which is fuel and ignition timing. Okay, so first he go and check the spark plug. So for example, if the tuner notice a lot of heat on the spark plug during a uh, maximum power runs, okay, so he can try using cooler spark plug and go for higher power. For experienced tuner, they will make use of this spark plug and they will check for fouling. And if they have already changed a proper spark plug, a proper heat range of a spark plug, then they will continue and do tuning for the car so that it can achieve maximum power, it will increase the timing. But it is not easy to just according to these uh, parameters. Hope you guys enjoyed this series and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of 2JZ Tuesday. Press the like button if you guys like this video and share with your friends if you think this video will benefit them. Subscribe for more videos and I will share more insights of 2JZ engine building. See you!